So your data segments in Google Ads is essentially just a renaming of remarketing. So you used to have your remarketing audiences, now you have your data segments. So it's when you can use your data and people who have interacted with any part of your business that you can import into Google Ads because then you can target people who have shown an interest in your business already. So reach users who have visited your website, interacted with your YouTube channel, downloaded your app, viewed your products, or given you their customer information. It's available for all campaign types. Now to get started, I wanna show you the different types of your data audience segments you can use with Google Ads directly from the Google Ads help page. So website visitors, you can show ads here past visitors as they browse sites and apps on the display network. Dynamic remarketing, so people who have viewed specific products or services on your website or your app. Your data segment for search ads, so show ads to past visitors as they do follow up searches for what they need in Google after leaving your website. YouTube users, show ads people who've interacted with your videos on YouTube, subscribe, shared, anything like that. You can create audiences for your YouTube users. And customer match, you can upload segments of your contact information. For example, if you have a mailing list, you can upload your mailing list directly to Google Ads and they will match your mailing list and all the information that you give Google Ads to people who are actively on the Google Ads network. So these are some of the different ways that you can use your data audience segments. If you're looking for a detailed video on remarketing, you can find my video, Google Ads Remarketing Tutorial for 2022. I will link it in the video description. This is very updated and I use Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager to show you how to create different audiences and import them directly into your Google Ads account. I also show you how to do it with YouTube as well. So if you're looking for a detailed guide about how to set up your data and how to create some of your own data segments, this would be the video to watch to get started with it. Now in this, I really just wanna go over your data segments in general and targeting them through the Google Ads. And I'm just gonna create a display campaign really quick and show how to target some of your data segments. Okay, so we open up our Google Ads account here. We click on campaigns and we click to create a new campaign. So we're gonna create a new campaign. Let's say we wanna drive sales. We wanna use these conversion goals. We're gonna click on continue. We wanna create a display campaign and we're gonna click on continue again. Okay, so we have all of our campaign settings. You wanna make sure you have all your location, your language targeting, set your budget, set your bid strategy. And then we're gonna come in here to targeting. You're gonna see optimized targeting is set up for you. So they're using information like our landing page and our assets to try to drive more conversions for us. But when we come into ad targeting and we choose audience segments, you're gonna have this list of different audience segments that you can target. So if we come over here to browse, one of the options is how they have interacted with your business. So I've already created some of these different audience segments, website visitors, YouTube users, and you can create custom combinations as well. So if we come over here to YouTube users, some of the different options that you have, new subscribers, this is over the last 90 days, viewed a video ad over the last 30 days, this is the same audience, YouTube users over the last 30 days, liked a YouTube video over the last 90 days. So you can set to target people who have interacted with your YouTube channel, whether it was in the last week or whether it was in 90 or more days. So we come up here, we can also target website visitors. So I can do anybody who's been to my website over the last 30 days, purchasers at my website of Beachfront Decor. So you can target different website visitor audiences as well, whether it's somebody who has converted already, somebody who has added something to their cart, somebody who has visited specific pages on your website. You can target all of them with your advertisements. So if I choose all visitors 30 days, then it's gonna target anybody who has been to my website over the last 30 days. And if I come in here to YouTube users, all YouTube viewers over the last 30 days, I can target both of these segments and they are considered your data segments because I'm using my data to target people across the Google Display Network. So this is how your data works. As you start creating your audiences and your data segments, they're gonna come in here, how they've interacted with your business and what you can do, we click on done, we go through the rest of the campaign creation, we'll be targeting these two audiences. But what you can also do is come up here to tools and settings, go to shared library, go to your audience manager. And once that loads, what you're gonna see here is your data segments. And then over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see your data sources. So with your data sources, you can see here, I've implemented the Google Ads tag using Google Tag Manager. I have my Google Analytics 4 account linked to my Google Ads account. And I have my YouTube channel linked to my Google Ads account as well. You can do that by going to tools and settings, under setup, going to linked accounts. 
And if these are both under the same Google account, you can easily import and link these two different accounts to your Google Ads account. And then when you come over here to segments, now if we scroll down here real quick, you're gonna see there's other sources you can link as well. But if we come over here to segments, what we can do is we can click on the plus sign to create new data segments. Customer list, we can upload a customer list here. We can create segments based on our YouTube users, based on our app users. I don't have a mobile app for this business, so I don't have an example to show you. But we can also do website visitors up at the top. And I can just say, I wanna target website visitors, name our segment, say visitors of a page, match any rule group, the page URL contains, and this is for my website, beachfronttocore.com. I could say page URL contains betting and pre-fill segment from the last 30 days. People stay in this audience segment for the last 30 days or for 30 days at a time. And I can name my segment betting 30 days. And anybody who has visited a page on my website where the word betting is in the URL, they will see my advertisements. I can expand this by also saying page URL contains betting or I can say comforters or I can say quilts. So I can choose some of these different keywords here that are mostly in any of my page URLs that are related to bedding, comforters, quilts, duvet covers, sheets, pillows, whatever it might be. If I'm trying to target people with some type of bedding advertisement, I can use this audience. And after we click on save and or create segment down here, when we actually go to create our campaign and we're adding our data segments, we're able to target that audience with our advertisements. So. The other thing you're gonna see here, and I'm gonna go through this in the next video, are similar audiences, so similar to all users, 30 days. So similar segments are gonna automatically be created as soon as we have large enough data segments using our own data. So we have some that are available for search, YouTube, display, Gmail campaigns. So once some of these different segments that we've created, so some of these are in use up here, some, once they are large enough to serve, they're gonna start building more and more similar audiences for us. So at this point, we just have three similar audiences, but as we get larger and larger audiences, we can have similar segments as well based on our data. So these are data segments. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.